Stories of the Bible, the Good Samaritan. This is Jesus, hey. who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. You see, when Jesus was on earth, he wanted everyone to know what God thought about things. So he took every opportunity to teach people about God's heart. <clears throat> One day, a religious expert stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question. Teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? <laughs> what does the law say? The man answered, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> right. All right. Do this and you will live. Wait! The man then asked, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied with a story. A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. Ah! They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead beside the road. <laughs> by chance, a priest came along. <laughs> But when he saw the man lying there, Ugh, yuck. he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, whoa! Another man who worked in the temple who was called a Levite walked over and looked at him lying there. He's out. Uh, huh? But he also passed by on the other side. Then a Samaritan came along. Oh. Samaritans were hated by Jews. They were seen as lesser people, and Jews would not interact with them. But when the Samaritan saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his donkey and took him to an inn, where he took care of him. One room, please. The next day, he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, Take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. 
Now, which of these three would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandits? The man replied, the one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, yes, now go and do the same. that you joined us at Scup at Scout Camp. <laughs> yeah, today I'm trying to get my storyteller patch. And I think you will, Zara, but there's something that we have to do first. What do you think it is? The Scup, Scup and Scout, Scout Salute! <laughs> right, let's clap twice and then howl like a wolf. Ready? Yep. Ready! Howl! <laughs> Good job, Scup at Scouts. Now, before Zara tells her story, we need to hear about Jesus' parable. What's a parable? A parable is a story that Jesus told us to teach us something. Neat! Jesus is so cool! <laughs> do you know any of the parables that Jesus told? I do! And I want to tell you about my favorite one. It's a parable of the Good Samaritan. Oh! Well, why was the samurai... samurai... Uh, uh, why was the guy good? <laughs> well, the Samaritan was good because he cared for someone who needed help. Whoa! He does sound good! Yeah, there were other people who saw the man hurting, but the Samaritan was the only one who stopped. Oh, let me guess. Jesus told us that story because he wants us to care for others too? Yeah, that's exactly right, Winston. Jesus wants us to show love and care to others. But, but Maddie, how do we show people that we care about them? Yeah, we can show them through our words and our actions. Sara, was there ever a time where you saw someone sad or hurting and stopped? Oh yeah, that's that's how I met Abby. Oh, do you want to tell us that story? Yeah, okay, here I go. There once was a white scuppet who liked to play at the park. One day she was playing at the park when a bully came and took away her ball. The bully pushed her down and the white scuppet was very sad. By chance, a Flabrio flew by, but when he saw the white scuppet sitting there, he flew to the other side of the park and passed her by. Then, a pink scuppet walked by and saw her sitting there, but passed her by too. Then, a yellow scuppet came by. She was singing very loudly, so a lot of scuppets in the park didn't want to be around her. When she saw the white scuppet sitting alone, she felt sad for her. The yellow scuppet went over to the white scuppet and made her feel better. She asked her to play with her, and the two scuppets had a great time playing together. Wow, that's a great story, Zara. You have earned your Scuppet Scout storytelling patch. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Good job, Zara. I really like that story because you helped get someone else. That's right, Zara. I love that you saw someone that was sad and alone and that you helped them. I know there's lots of times that I see other kids in Scuppets who don't have someone else to play with. I'm going to try to play with them. Oh, that's great. That's a great way to show that you care. Remember, friends, you can care for others. Look for ways to help them out just like the Good Samaritan did. Now, let's do our Scuppet Scout salute one more time, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's do it! Oh, yeah. 